the French paradox. We first heard about this in the 1980s, and we asked the question, how is it that the French in France, who eat those buttery croissants, those fatty cheeses, those sugar-laden, delicious-looking French pastries, how come that they have a lower rate of heart disease than we have here in North America? Could it be the red wine that they drink? That was the question. Well, uh, researchers looked into the red wine and said, oh, it contains this compound called resveratrol, an antioxidant. Maybe that's what's doing it. But subsequent research, mostly in Tuscany, where they drink a lot of red wine, where scientists looked at the uh, output, the urine of people, and they found that there was absolutely no correlation between the amount of resveratrol that they ingested and resveratrol metabolites and any kind of, of, of health. Not with cancer, not with heart disease, not with diabetes, and even not with, with obesity. It isn't the resveratrol. Could it be the alcohol itself? Well, that has been looked into as well. And unfortunately, we are seeing more and more studies that show that alcohol is not that great. Well, sure, if you scrutinize the literature, you will find some studies that show that moderate drinking is, is, is beneficial and that, that people who don't drink alcohol at all uh, are less healthy. Although that probably can be explained by the so-called uh, sick quitter effect. That is that people who have some kind of health problem give up alcohol. And that's why it may look like people who don't drink alcohol are, are less uh, healthy. And a big study in England uh, just recently released, also showed that people who drink from moderate to heavy and give up the alcohol totally for a month, reduce their cholesterol, reduce some markers for cancer, and even reduce the propensity for, for diabetes. So what do we make of all of this? Well, maybe there is no such thing as a French paradox. The French actually fill out death certificates differently from here, and some cases are just described as sudden death without talking about uh, heart disease. Also, the French eat smaller meals than we do. They don't eat nearly as much processed food. In spite of the French pastry, they actually consume a lot less sugar because they don't drink uh, soft drinks. Meals are social occasions. They're not gulped down in a hurry. Uh, and they take naps, and they take longer vacations. So the French paradox actually may be multifactorial. But what about the wine? Well, I'm, I'm uh, pretty up to date on the alcohol research. And uh, I think that uh, one has to be very careful with the amount of alcohol that one consumes. But we don't need to become a nation of teetotalers. Because after all, we do take risks, right? We ride roller coasters. Uh, we do all kinds of dangerous things. We fly in airplanes. We, we, we drive cars. Life is not risk-free. And some things are worth taking a bit of a risk with. So I don't think there's anything to the red wine effect in terms of protecting us against heart disease, but I think that there's a little bit of pleasure to be had. So let's drink to that, but not too much. And as far as all of this goes, well, you know what? I think for uh, my dessert, I'd rather have some uh, fruit. But once the camera's off, I will go for that eclair.